<laughs> just feel it. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be a label night. I actually left mine downstairs and I was like, should I run and get it? And I'm like, we'll just see what you guys have going. So, okay. So first we're going to talk about the five myths of metabolism. So these are the five myths that Autumn talked about in the nutrition plus. And, um, if I'd like, if we have other myths we've heard, we can, uh, I can like jot those down and we can continue that into the next week. Or if I already know the answer, I can give the answer right away, but you know what I mean? So we can talk about some additional myths you have, but these are really common ones. So we'll just jump into it. And uh, the first one, and we talked a little bit about this last week, is that you can't change your metabolism. So last week we talked about that you can affect it in different ways with adding lean muscle and uh, your movement, right? A tiny bit if you're chewing your food even more than you normally would to have more digestion happening, but that's a really, really small percentage. So that's not gonna affect it too much. Um, but the lean muscle and that exercise definitely can. So so it you can uh, affect it. You can't, I mean, your body is using what your body uses to stay alive. So that number is pretty set, but we can add those lean muscle burning exercise in. Uh, two, so uh, Sue had asked about this last week, uh, like if you're eating hot chili peppers or extra green tea or coffee, does that increase your metabolism? So uh, not enough to matter. It does for a little tiny bit when you're having it, but you also have the thing of if you're having all kinds of coffee, then you're also having a lot of caffeine and you can be negatively, negatively affecting yourself with the increased heart rate. So it does a tiny, tiny bit, but not enough to really count. So the studies basically have shown that it's pretty insignificant and not enough to go with uh, the Tabasco and everything. <laughs> <laughs> or however you want to get your hot sauce, your hot peppers. Okay. And number three, um, eating late at night slows your metabolism. So no, it doesn't. Uh, but the reasons you may not want to eat at night is you, that's not when your body's using the energy, right? During the, the morning and the lunchtime, that's a great time to have your carbs because your body's going to use it. It's going to, you're going to feel better because you have that energy available. So the goal is total calories for a day, not necessarily, um, the, the, I should say the biggest goal. I know a lot of us have done time nutrition, but your overall calories for the day is what matters the most time nutrition helps deliver the nutrition at times when you really want it. So you tend to be more satisfied on a time nutrition plan because you're getting it in, in the schedule of when you really can use it and you need it. So you don't have these lulls. I know I felt a lot more energetic when I was doing a time nutrition and that's just because you're getting those nutrients as your body needs it. So you're not diving down into a lull in between. Um, so let's see, let me, I had another thought with that and now it's gone. Oh, nighttime eating. So a lot of times our nighttime eating is extra calories. We're not necessarily eating because we're hungry. So that's why a lot of, you know, plans talk about once you're done with your dinner, close the kitchen, things are done because it's kind of like nothing good happens after 2 a.m., right? I mean, that's... <laughs> Night I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 2 a.m., 2 a.m., not p.m., 2 a.m. No. You know what I mean? When the bar is closed, whatever the bar is closed. Nothing That's what I mean, 8, 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's one of those things where, you know, obviously, if you are not getting enough calories in the day and you're actually hungry at night, then eat the food, right? But if you're just snacking or it's a habit or it's extra calories, then that's where the nighttime piece comes into it. But it does not slow your metabolism. Okay. All right. Number four she had was extreme low cal diet jumpstart your metabolism. Uh, no, no, they don't. <laughs> the goal is to fuel your body 
And, you know, if you're doing a low cal, especially these extreme low cals where you're at like 900, uh, depending on the amount of time you're doing it, your body can think it's in a famine and then stop, you know, exerting as much energy or, you know, it starts kind of storing up things. It's like it's preparing for the long winter, right? So that's why in a lot of our stuff, we really talk about fueling your body so that your body feels like it has enough so it can let those fat stores go. It can use the fuel you're giving it. And I know a lot of people feel like they're increasing their metabolism almost when they start on a plan because it's like they're getting all this food, but they're also burning through it in between each meal. You're not necessarily, your metabolism hasn't changed, but the types of food you're eating, your body understands the times you're eating it, how you know, you're eating it and the calories you're at, your body is burning through those things. She did talk briefly about how, like, if you're eating a lot of processed foods, fried foods, your body, there's, there are foods that your body likes to um, burn through quickly and get rid of like alcohol or white rice. But there's also things where your body's like, I don't quite know what to do with this. Maybe you're just going to sit here for a little bit while we kind of figure things out or try to burn through you. Um, so eating those whole foods is the best case scenario because it understands what to do with those nutrients. It understands what to do with the things involved, the chemicals, the processed foods. It's like, I don't really know what you are and how I'm supposed to deal with you. So it may leave you know, your body just kind of wondering how to handle it all. All right. And then number five, we talked quite a bit about last week, which was your metabolism slows with age. So what slows is your movement and that you have less lean muscle as you get older. So past a certain age, it's really, it's, it's a little harder each year for you to uh, create that lean muscle. But you're also slowing down. I mean, I know, you know, like how much are we really doing compared to when we were teenagers or, you know, I mean, you were just always on the go at that point. Maybe you walked everywhere, rode your bike everywhere. And now we get in the car to go five blocks. <laughs> and, you know, there's a lot of times where we're slowing down our activity. So those are the five. Does anybody have any questions or additions you want to add into that? Um, yes. I My dad told me this week that had I seen the latest, um, uh, the latest data that working out over 90 minutes cumulatively a week slowed your metabolism. And I was like, nope, I don't think so. Did that come out this week? I have, I have not seen or heard that one. So that was a new one. I would, I just wonder if anybody heard that, but that's what, uh, that's what he told me. Well, I, working out more than 90 minutes in a day can have negative cortisol effects well, I, I for said, a week. I thought he meant a day and I was like, oh, well, that's okay. Cause I don't work out 90 minutes a day. And he's like, no, I mean for the week. Yeah. That seems cause you're supposed to work out. Um, what is it like? Uh, two and a half out. hours, two and a half yeah. hours over the course of a week. It's like 30 minutes a day. Okay. Just check in. Make yeah, sure. No, I haven't heard that one. Um, I don't know why it would slow your metabolism. Yeah. Maybe if you were going from working out for um, 10 hours a week to 90 minutes, then you'd burn less calories. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to examine his sources, ask him to cite his sources. Not all you read on the internet is true, dad. Right, right, yeah. We all have to work on that. Any any I, other I, I have a question. What was number four? Oh, boy. Hey, okay, let me check my notes really quick here. Number four was extreme low-cal diets jumpstart your metabolism. So they can actually have the opposite effect of uh, what you want to do. You know, they, they can be a short term, like we do a uh, three day refresh. That's a 900 calorie for three days. Um, and that it's not going to change your metabolism, but you are definitely taking in less calories than you're burning. 
And so you will go through some of your fat stores. It is that it's filled with good foods. Your body knows how to handle those foods. You're well hydrated during that time, but it's only three days. If you were to continue a low-cal diet for an extended period of time, that's when your body starts feeling like it's not going to get enough and starts, you know, reserving burning energy so that it doesn't have to go, you know, go through the famine or it can survive, right? It's just trying to keep us alive. All right. Any other ones? And like I said last week, you know, obviously these are just regular cases. If you're dealing with PCOS or uh, thyroid issues, this is a totally different scenario. And that's something that needs to be worked out with your doctor. But in general, your metabolism is functioning just fine. And it's about what are you, what's, how many calories are you really getting in each day? How many calories are you really burning each day? And matching those things up to make sure you're hitting your goals. All right, should we do labels? Who's got them? I know Sue's got one. I, I have a question, I don't have a label. Yeah. But how do you count if you wanna have prunes? Where would they fall? Whoa. Um, let me see I if I can find them on the food list, but they're, um, it probably depends on making sure there's no sugar added. I think they are fruit, and I think mm -hmm. you can only have five. I think it might let be me, under that. Let me get, wow. let me go get the label. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it depends on if they have sugar on them though, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find them on the food list to see where they're. Cause there's that treat swap page, you know, that has like dried fruits on it, like dried apricots. What yeah. food list are you looking at, Deanna? So I'm going to jump into the ultimate portion fix to look at that okay. food list. Um, I, cause I, it's usually more extensive than the regular 21 day fix stuff. Um, the prunes I have here, it says 14 total sugars, but no added sugar. Okay. That's good. It's a uh, one and a half ounces is a serving 40 grams. So I don't know how many prunes that would be. There's 11 servings in the container. It has no fat, no cholesterol, no sodium, one protein, uh, 24 grams of carbs, three grams of fiber. So it's mostly sugar. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, okay, so let's see here if they're, oh, prunes, two pieces is one purple. Yeah. It really counts as a purple. Yeah. yeah. So two oh. pieces, one purple. And figs, okay. figs are the same, unsweetened dried figs. And then if you're doing like uns, unsweetened dried apricots, you get four pieces. What about fresh figs? You know, that would be a good question that I doubt is listed under a purple, but... Um, Good question. Let's see if they're listed under purple. It's so rare people. Oh, two small figs. So two figs, two fresh figs is a fruit, right? Yeah, is a purple. So if you dry them. So that was the same. That was the same as the dry though? It is. Because it was too dried and too fresh? Yep, Interesting. it is. Really? Yeah, you're really just missing out on the water okay. for those, it sounds like. Because I have a fig bush and I like to eat them. <laughs> oh yeah, I made a fig vermouth jam one year, it was so good. They're really good in uh, vanilla Shakeology as well. They're delicious. Oh, I bet. Is that prunes or figs? Uh, fresh figs. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so I, I do have a question. Yeah. So as far as metabolism is concerned, 
How does menopause affect metabolism? It, it doesn't technically. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now your hormones can affect you, uh, the amount of sleep you're getting, you know, when you're having hot flashes in the middle of the night, if you're not giving, getting good rest and things like that. Um, and your hormone levels can elevate to, I, I, I don't know that cortisol elevates during, but that's the only one that really can, when you have the cortisol, you know, at a higher level, then you're more stressed and things just aren't going to plan, but it doesn't necessarily change your metabolism. So your calories burned are still going to be based off of what you're doing, but if you're not getting enough sleep, then that can affect your ability to have everything function well. Does that make sense? It does. So, so then, so then why do women gain weight or have such a hard time losing weight when they are menopausal? Well, I did listen to a really great podcast. I'll have to listen to it again, but it talks about that your body naturally it's, so it's not necessarily uh, your body places a little layer of fat around the midsection to create estrogen, to help store and feed estrogen to you during that time. So mm -hmm. I wonder if your overall weight has really changed or just where your body's storing it. Cause mm -hmm. I definitely okay. notice I'm, I'm 47 and I, it feels like I'm getting a little layer here. <laughs> And, you know, I don't know if that's just me needing to dial it in a little bit more or because uh, it's like, I feel like if I put on any weight, that's where it goes. And so mm -hmm. this podcast was really interesting because it talked about how women just naturally need another little bit of fat during that, that time, because that's how you're stabilizing your hormones so that you can continue through the process. How unfair is that? Right. So yeah. I mean, we have to carry more fat in general, just because we uh, we're keeping the species alive. So, you know, and we, we, we've got to make the babies and, you know, keep things rolling and yeah. Yeah. So okay. It's so interesting to know then if a person, if they're just storing it in a different place versus really gaining or, you know what I mean? It, You'd have to really look at like, I, I, I don't even know if you could track it through all your measurements because you might just end up being bigger in the waist, but you're still eating the same way or you're still doing the same things, but your body has decided to store it. Yeah. So that- yeah. And there's nothing you can do. <laughs> See what you have to look forward to. I don't. I'm not saying no. Like this in this podcast, she did not say like this is 15 pounds of fat around your waist, right? I don't think it is like meant to be this enormous layer. I'm just saying that like your body kind of wants to have a little extra there, um, but I don't know what that extra equates to. So I mean, look at Lily. She's 46 amazing abs she's still doing it right so it's like hard to tell at what point and how each person reacts to it I might sound a little more emotional and desperate than usual my birthday's <laughs> coming in hot this weekend and I'm like on the back nine of my 30s so I'm like oh my so thanks Sue for raising that thanks Deanna and flagging that um, can't wait to join all of you in my 40s <laughs> so. right oh happy early birthday Thank you. Yeah. Happy birthday. I, that's what I loved about nine week control freak too, is like, you know, um, what's her, now I lost her name. Tanya. Auto. Oh, Tanya. Tanya is 47, I think, or 46. Yeah. And yeah. you know, Autumn's 40 and their bodies look different yeah. and it's okay. Right. Like she doesn't, Autumn doesn't look the same as she did in the original 21 day fix. She's still super muscular, lean, athletic, all of it's there, but it looks different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Has has anyone done the Shailene Extreme? Because I have those DVDs. I'm just wondering how hard that is. I haven't done them. It's I've as, heard a lot of people. It's as hard them. as it's as hard as you make it. They're they're great workouts. Yeah, so they are. If you choose a weight that's comfortable for you and go at your own pace. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. Is it harder or than the 21 day fix, the actual um, exercises? No, I wouldn't say so. Okay. I wouldn't say so. They're just different, different style training. I, that was one of my, I did T25 and then I did Shailene Extreme a lot. And when I was first experiencing Beachbody and um, I always enjoyed the workouts, um, but I would say that the 21 day fix is harder for sure. Oh, really? But I like to challenge myself and pick heavy weights. So maybe that might be it too. Uh -huh. All right, Sue, are you ready with your- uh, I am. Um, okay, so, so the only reason I'm doing this is because like Mariana said, I had posted something about having all this candy in my house and she saw these. So that's why I'm bringing them. So this is Welch's Fruit Snacks. There is- um, this particular pack is three and a half servings per container, 15 pieces at 90 calories. The carbs are 22 grams. Total sugar is 13 grams. Added sugar is 11 grams and only one gram of protein. So obviously um, it's a treat, but I guess it's better than M&M. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know. That's a lot of <laughs> sugar in there. I don't know that it yeah. is better than chocolate. So hold on. Let me get the M&M's then. <laughs> I think we switched to the dark chocolate bar and it's an FFC. You'll be I brought one. Yeah, that, yeah. Theo's good too. I get those mm -hmm. all the time. It's one of my favorites. I was saving my chocolate bar for next week, but it might not be here. Right. <laughs> oh. Which chocolate bar did you get? I just made a new one out of New York um, called Human, and it's more, have you had them, Mariana? Mm -hmm. yeah, they're really good, and it had a little layer of hazelnut butter in it, and it's, mm. it's like half, I want to say I get an extra serving out of it compared to my Theo ones, so like for the same amount of calories, I get more out of this one because they, they have less sugar in it, um, but nice. they're delicious, yeah. I'm not so sure these are better than M&Ms, you guys. So M&Ms are 19 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, 16 total sugars, and three grams of protein. Calories are higher, but I don't know. You tell me which one oh, tastes yeah. better. I mean, let's be fair. They're all, they're all sometimes treats. <laughs> yeah, I agree. The table reading that I really like. When chocolate yeah. M&Ms comes out above the fruit snacks. I know, there you have it. <laughs> and if you read, I'm still not sick of you. <laughs> I love it. I love the sayings on these things. Okay, sorry about that. Maybe maybe you should go to the dark chocolate M&Ms. I know, these are George's. These aren't even mine. <laughs> How do you count chocolate as a... Well, you count, it as a, you count it as a teaspoon. I mean, you, okay. you just don't have very much. You have like a square or a few chocolate chips and it's a teaspoon. Usually. Like a tease. Yeah. The teas. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. All right. Who else has one? All right, Mariana. Oh, and you have one too, Darcy? Maybe. Okay. We'll do one after Mariana goes. So just because I don't want Sue to feel like she's been <laughs> bringing junk food to the label table this evening, um, these, these come out, um, for the record, it is empty because I emptied it on the coffee table because I wanted to pick out the good ones because if I'm gonna snack down 100 calories and only five jelly beans, you can assure yourself that I'm only eating the good flavors. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these are atrocious, by the way, and I didn't real like, I mean, you know that they're just chock full of sugar, but you just don't realize until you flip it over, which I did when I got it the other day. And I was like, it is what it is. <laughs> so um, 13 servings per container, five pieces. These are, it says they're the jumbo jelly beans, because that's supposed to make you feel better. Uh, 100 calories, which I was surprised that it was that many for 100 calories. I felt like that was actually pretty solid. Zero caloric like nutrition in this um five milligrams of sodium 27 grams of carbs no dietary fiber and this should not shock anyone but it's 22 grams of total sugar and that's all included because the first three ingredients is sugar 
corn syrup, corn starch, and then it just goes on in like beeswax or whatever. So these are awful, but these are not like every day. Um, so these were just sometimes, but I didn't want Sue to feel like she was the only one bringing it's these two. It's Easter. I got you. It is Thank Easter. You. She appreciates it. She appreciates the love. <laughs> yeah. And then I did bring the Theos because yeah, I think Kim brought, Kim, did you also? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lily's got it too. Oh, that's, Yay. Lily's got my favorite. No, which one is that? <sighs> you have, Mariana. Uh, 85% dark chocolate with only four grams of sugar. It's extra dark, 180 yeah. calories for a third of a bar. But I actually, they have the squares, as everyone knows, and I just actually break off a half of a full square whenever I eat it. But I like to just keep it in the thing. So yeah, yeah I do a square and, uh, but it should have, like, it's got a decent amount of fiber usually. Um, it does. It's 11 grams of carb, of total carbohydrates and then four grams of dietary fiber which i oh. know your ratio which is like one to every like you know carb and i was like oh this is pretty solid so it's four it's totally an ffc in my book i totally agree three grams of protein i mean come on this is fantastic so yeah this is i keep this in the cupboard when i'm not eating jelly beans right <laughs> right or you could just put the jelly beans between the chocolate squares <laughs> I actually scene. thought about putting uh, peanut butter in between the chocolate squares the other night, and I just didn't. I was like, yeah. oh, I'm not going to go through that. One. But <laughs> yeah, be yeah. delicious so. too, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, those are the, um, and then the last label that I brought, because we were talking about chicken sausage, I saw this on Autumn's story the other oh, day. Okay. Is that Applegate, um, Applegate. brand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Three links, yeah. 110 calories, two carbs zero fiber two total grams of sugar is 110 calories so yeah yeah they have good products they, they do natural curing so it'll have like salt and celery salt and things like that for their nitrate yeah yeah it was what really, brand is really that? interesting apple this is applegate in my oh, okay yeah 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 okay. just found in the freezer section so nice that's what i brought so. all right darcy do you want to go uh, sure. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can. So here, I'm just going to show you a picture of my, how do I do that? Um, still learning this guys. It's the That's first time I've been here. You can just, you can just read it to us or hold it in front of the camera. Okay. So this is my sweet treat. Can you read it? Probably not. No, we're, I'm going to be able to read that one. Yeah. Okay. So it's dark chocolate almonds. I get oh. at the grocery store. Oh, oh yeah. my fave. Um, it's got serving size is a quarter cup, which is about six point seven almonds. Uh, two hundred and twenty-five calories. Um, fat calories one thirty. Total fat sixteen grams. Let's go on to sodium. 65. Then we have total carbs, 14 grams, two grams of fiber. Yeah, not great. Ingredients start with semi-sweet chocolate. So why did they say dark chocolate on the label? Yeah, they, there's lots of label things that they mm -hmm. get to get away with. Yeah. Um, chocolate liqueur, sugar, cocoa, butter, Oh gosh, this is making me sick. Okay, um, roasted almonds, sunflower oil. Um, but I have to say, these little guys right here, I love them. And they are the one sweet treat that I've learned I can get away with. And they don't affect me in a bad way. Um, is, is there something to be said, uh, TMI, about dark chocolate and a bowel movement? <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I think it would depend on how much you eat, but it has a little bit of caffeine, which helps with that. It has a little bit of fiber, but I'm not sure that you're eating enough that that's the trigger, unless there's like a sensitivity issue, you know what I mean? Like to it where it spurs something else. Um, I'm pretty sure that it spurs something because yeah. I can eat these. And typically when I eat them is middle of the afternoon, I've gotten home, I've had my healthy foods during the day and then I get home and I munch on a few of these and then boom there we go and so I'm like okay well this isn't a bad thing because it's helping me this way because the other times I'm not that 
Yeah. I struggle, I struggle with regularity. So um, even when I get all my veggies in, so that's something I really want to work on. But yeah, interesting. Anyway. Yeah. Maybe, wow. maybe it does. And maybe it's a timing thing. Like maybe you mentally, like it's like, you know, it'll come because of it or something. And maybe it's, you know, more just happening off of a timing thing. I don't know. Right. Well, and I also have to say at that time, I'm like busy. I get home, I'm rushing here, rushing there. So I got a little cardio going on also. And the combination, I feel like maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe in doubles. I don't know. So I just Googled it and yeah. I Googled, I Googled dark chocolate bowel movements. And yeah. it says the magnesium and dark chocolate helps to relax the muscles in your digestive tract. Also to include organic chocolate bar has at least 72% cocoa, blah, blah, blah. So, and then it says, could wait a minute, flex seeds are not just great for relieving constipation. They're also amazing for your heart. So it could be that the magnesium is helping relax oh, your muscles. Maybe. That could be part of it. Thanks. <laughs> we're like, we're like Google doctors here. I know we are, aren't we? <laughs> and I have to say too, um, since you brought up chocolate covered almonds, like whenever I travel, I have to have skinny dipped almonds. Those things are delicious so good. and they're, it's just mm -hmm. enough chocolate and it's it so good. Yeah. I've had them too. And I've tried to make my own before because I feel like the ones I get have I hate to say it, but too much chocolate on them. Okay. Yeah. That could be with a less layer. So I made my own with just like plain almonds and it works. They're yummy. I just have to master how to get the chocolate evenly coated on the almonds, but it is that. a, yeah. But. Yum. All right, Kim, I saw you were holding up a bar. Do you have another one or do you want to talk about your chocolate? Um, I mean, if, it's similar to the other ones. Yeah. I was a little worried because it's just... good too. I like that one too. I've, I've had oh, all the chocolate, I think. Oh, okay. I, I'm <laughs> laughing because it says in strong, dark chocolate. And I wasn't sure exactly what strong would meant. And I thought I'm not going to like it. It's not going to be good, but it was delicious. And it was 22 grams if you ate the whole bar. Cause you know, I got to check it out that way. Right, <laughs> which right. is, yeah. Put it in perspective for the jelly beans. So thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but the carbs were 13 per serving was 13 fiber was four sugars or seven protein three so yeah i was excited like i didn't um and is that the 70 percent one yeah 70 percent. it's got almonds and sea salt yeah yeah that, i think I, i've had that exact part that's really good and it was really how good. do you count the chocolate like what do you what container do you put it in yellow? Yeah. So, you know, you'd count it as a teaspoon. teaspoon. So you're getting like a square. Or you can go what's on the back, on the back, like I just. Or, or you're going off the containers and you're having a treat. That's right. <laughs> or you're just having a treat. You know, sorry. I forgot. I, for, I was like, what do you mean? Six <laughs> what do you mean square? square? What is that business? <laughs> How, How much worse? This bar? How much worse is milk chocolate than dark chocolate? Can well, I it just you don't get the benefits of chocolate, so it's going to have less fiber. It's going to have more sugar and probably more dairy. Um, I don't know. It, it depends on what they're using to make the milk chocolate, but it's just it's less cocoa, right? So you don't get the anti as many antioxidants, the nutrients that chocolate brings because it is a really nutritious bean. Um, but, or fruit, whatever you want to call it, that little nib, but, uh, you know, it, it, so you're just not getting as many benefits. It's going to be more sugar, less of mm -hmm. the other things. Cause I can't eat the dark chocolate. It makes me nauseous. Oh, really? Huh? <laughs> the flavor of it. I can't get it down. It's bitter. So it is, it is. It's, it's great because my kids won't touch my dark chocolate. <laughs> it. So I'm like, nobody's raiding my yeah. chocolate cabinet. Yep. Same. <laughs> Except I did get, oh, I got this amazing, there was a brand called Unreal and it's chocolate peanut butter cups. And it was like real peanut butter in the middle and the chocolate was dark and they were amazing. And Jack had one and like the next day I was down there and I had one left and I'm like, okay, that's not cool. I'm like, those are mommies. <laughs> you gotta hide them. <laughs> All right, Lily, do you have one? Uh, so I have the Theo, 
Yeah. And it's the um, dark chocolate with sea salt or salted al- almond, I guess. So it's very similar to um, Marianne's and uh, Kim's. So it's this says the serving size is one third of a bar, which I probably would only have half of that. Um, maybe unless it was a bad day, but six, there's six uh, there. So if you're having one square, yeah. you're having one sixth of the. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, for them, it's one third of a bar is 170 calories. Total fat is 12 grams. Uh, carbs are 13, fibers three, sugars is eight and protein is three. So not awesome, but it, you know, it's only the 70. I can't find the 85%, the one that I bought. So I'll have to bring that next week unless I eat it all. Um, between Lily, now and then. What is, Marianne yeah. had. That's what Marianne yeah, had. 85%. That's what I have. Yeah. 85. Lily, what's the carbs and dietary fiber on yours again? So mine is a little bit more than yours. Mine's 13 carbs and fiber is less, which is three. I think yours was four. Yes, that's correct. But your total fat is, I think, less than mine. Mine was 13. 12 grams. Yeah, mine's 13. 100%. Yeah. And then it's 10. So cal- mine- yours is 10 calories less than mine. Mine's 180. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Well, mine is uh, cocoa beans, cane sugar, almonds, cocoa butter, and Himalayan salt. That's it. Prunes have more sugar than all the chocolate. <laughs> The, uh, the chocolate is going to be more fatty and there's less chocolate in Lily's bar because there's almonds in it. So that's why the calorie difference. How much liquor is in there, Lily? <laughs> Lick, no, no liquor. <laughs> no liquor. But I do, I do have some um, tortillas. Okay, good. I was, feel, I was feeling like this was the Easter edition where we're like mm-hmm. all on candy. I'm like, did I put something out there that we're all like looking at candy today? <laughs> I think we're all trying to get ready for Easter. Like, what can we eat that's not horrible for us? <laughs> you, the flourless uh, yeah. brownies. Make those. Yeah, there you go. Good luck with that. Uh, so I do, um, I like the flat out, this multigrain one. Um, is uh, so one serving is one flatbread it's 100 calories it has two grams of fat it has 21 grams of carbs it has eight grams of fiber and seven grams of protein and less than one gram of sugar perfect so yeah I like to make like the the, um, salad burritos and you know different roll-ups with them and And I think that's the one I've seen people do like a quick pizza on too Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they have a bunch of res- recipes that you can make. Yeah. P- your own pizza on it, basically. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And they're, and they're, um, they don't taste like cardboard to me, which some, you know, some carb ones taste horrible, um, right. but I think they actually taste okay. So, and then I also, I've never tried this. The lavish oh, bread. I've of that one too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, they're big rectangles. They're, they're quite hmm. big actually. Um, so it says uh, half of a flatbread, so half of that is 60. So 120 for the whole, the whole thing, which is good size. Um, it has 1.5 grams of fat. It has eight carbs, two fibers, and six protein, and zero sugar. Sounds and good. It's, yeah. So I thought, I thought it, was, it was interesting. It has um, flax in it and oat fiber and cornstarch. This one does have um, soy protein isolate, though. Mm. So, but. but What's the main uh, ingredient? Is it wheat? The main ingredient is water and wheat and oat fiber. Okay. So, but yeah, I've never heard of these ones before. So the lavish bread. Keep them on some other groups um, that people really liked them. And I think there might be a few different kinds. I'm not sure though. Yeah, they had a they had a couple different kinds. Yeah. So. But I, I picked that one because it had more protein than some of the other ones. So yeah. So not I think that the um the multigrain one is is a better option just because of the carb and the um fiber and the protein balance was better and it had better ingredients than the lavish bread, but yeah. Well, I'm trying both. And then um, I also brought this pasta 
and it's um, Hearts of Palm Linguini. In oh, okay. Can. So, I don't know if I can see this. It's getting dark here, sorry. <laughs> so, it's um, three servings per container is 10 calories, and all it is is Hearts of Palm. That's yeah. all it is. Does it taste good? Well, I've yes, heard it you is. rinse it, right? Do you, is that the one you need to rinse? Yes. Or is it the other? Okay. Yeah, you rinse them so that you're kind of... Well, this, this is one of the ones, yeah. This is the one, one of the ones that you do have to rinse. Um, there's another one, the uh, shirataki noodles that you also have to rinse because they smell like mushrooms kind of, like um, a little bit. But yeah, if you rinse them, good. You're, I am totally loving them, especially with like pesto sauce on it or I mean I don't really do a ton of marinara sauce or tomato sauce um I like my pesto and then the stuff that Sue what's that stuff you sent me from my stocking what was that called oh the um oh I forget what is that Zatoran or something like that yes is that, yes. Is that what oh, you're like talking about I don't know I'll, yeah yeah I'll grab it I don't remember what it's called yeah so, so I put one. I put that on it and it's it's delicious and you know where really, do you get you those um, you can buy them on Amazon, but you can buy them okay. at Safeway or Fred Meyer. And I feel so, like but, I maybe saw that somebody got some at Costco recently. Some it, as it gets more popular, oh, really? it, it'll start coming into other stores. But they should have them in like a, the Whole Foods and some places like that. Okay. Yes, that one. Yeah, yeah. So this is spicy, and how do I don't even know how to say it. Zatar. It Something says like Lebanese, yeah, Lebanese herb and extra virgin oil spread with a kick. Yum. That sounds so, good. And, and, yeah. I love um, it. Nutritional fat. It's not awesome for you, but. <laughs> no, it's um, one tablespoon, calories 70, total fat 7 grams, sodium is 100 grams, total carbs 1. Sugar zero, protein zero. Actually, there's really nothing. Yeah, what's what's the spices in it? What does it say on the ingredients? Extra virgin oil, um, dried ground organum. Uh, some of these I can't even say. Sesame seeds, sumac, salt, chili peppers. So chili pepper. Hmm. That's what the spice is. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Yeah. So, it's and you don't need. You don't need, it's like pesto. You don't need very much to go, like you could use the one tablespoon or one teaspoon and put it on your serving of, and add your vegetables and add chicken or whatever kind of meat you're going to put with it. And it's a e super easy meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alana's so. big on the um, heart of palm uh, noodles and the shirataki noodles and they're kind of a freebie. What is hearts of palm? It's the it's literally the heart in a palm tree. It's like a, oh, and then they they shape it. They just cut it to shape it in noodles. Um, but mm -hmm. as you get further into the palm tree, the heart is more tender. I would yeah, say so you get, maybe to be like a bamboo shoot. Is that accurate? So um, is it a vegetable? Yeah, a little bit. They also this is linguine, but they also sell it in penne as well. So, so is the vegetable um, part of palm? He, you know, it's, uh, it's not like you'd see it on the, on a green, uh, food list, you know, for a vegetable and it doesn't have any calories, I don't think, or isn't it like it's super low well, 10, oh, 10 calories for the whole can. It's, it's 30 calories for the entire can, for the whole can. So nothing. I don't think you'd count it as a green. I think you're just not counting it if you're on UPF. Um, if you're on to be mindset, then it's like you're your sauce carrier. <laughs> so you don't count yeah, I, I just don't I just don't count it because I don't eat the whole can either. Yeah. So. How does it taste? Yeah, what does it taste like? Um it's hard to explain. It I mean it <laughs> sorry my mom's calling. <laughs> um it's not um it doesn't taste like something weird, like plasticky or anything. It tastes, um, it's a little crunchy, um, but you can cook it longer and, you know, heat it up longer and then it's not as um, al dente, but it's, 
Um, it's definitely more of an al dente uh, pasta shape. And I, that's how I like my pasta anyways. So um, it's, um, how do I explain it? I don't it's, know, you just have to try it. That it's not, yeah, that's, what that's was interesting. that? Is it earthy at all or? No, okay. no, it's no, like, like, um, so shirataki noodles are earthy to me and taste like you're, like you'd be eating a crunchy potato almost in, in noodle form. Um, and so, but these ones don't, I want to say these remind me more of like the heart of an artichoke, like you're, mm. like you're eating that. Oh. Um, but it's more, but it's, it's crunchy, like an al dente noodle. Mm. So unless you overcook them and then they just turn into mush. So. Oh, okay. So you like, can overcook them. Yeah. Yeah. So like, if you, if you just don't heat them up, like in the microwave or, um, and you actually, um, cause a couple of times I've put them in my stir fry and then, and I forgot and overcooked them <laughs> and then they, then they kind of get a little mushy. So, but yeah, they're very yeah. interesting and it's, you know, it's better. My body just doesn't do well with pasta. It's, well, you might as well just stick it on my hip and <laughs> just attach it there. And it just doesn't process it for Wait, did whatever you reason. Did you try chickpea pasta? Yes. You yeah, like I, I like chickpea pasta as well. Yeah, that's good. So. It is good. And I feel really full after any of the bean pastas. Like they're yeah. extra full. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it is. It's, they're very filling. And I would say this is pretty filling as well. So, um, but yeah, there's so many options out there now for different types of pastas. If you can't have, you know, traditional pasta, there's just a lot of, a lot of different things you can buy. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, good. All right. Is there another label? Uh, I can't find it. So no, <laughs> it's somewhere in here. And I don't know if you, did you bring a label tonight or anything for Kathy? Just the prunes. Okay. You know, Barilla has a pasta that's protein now. It's yeah, I've wheat. seen that. Um, a little bit of wheat, but there's chickpea in there. There's lentil. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And it tastes just like macaroni. So my husband will eat it. <laughs> Yeah, and Barilla us usually does a pretty good job. Like I like their whole wheat pastas. Um, they they still have a nice bite to them, and they're not mm -hmm. weird. <laughs> you know, sometimes when they first started some of those noodles, and they just it, I don't know the texture was not good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. All well, right, I'm, guys. Yeah. Maybe we're actually going to finish on time tonight. <laughs> What's that all about? We got through all of our candy. That's good. <laughs> does yeah, anybody... okay. Thanks for telling us about going into that next group. Oh yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Instead of just leaving us hanging. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would, I would never leave anybody hanging. We've always got a group to tie into and to, to be with. So that's nice. Uh, what uh, is the next group? I think I missed it. Well, so the uh, party we guys. A, well, we have a 2021 20, day at a time group that's ongoing in Facebook. So you're welcome to jump in there. It's just all, the, it's an all the time group. Um, in any program group. Daily daily posts for motivational and, and accountability, similar to what Wendy does. So. Yeah. Okay. And, cool. and tomorrow is fun, Funky Friday. So Funky Friday, yeah. where we got to wear our spring brights or flowers or whatever. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. Hmm. I'm going to have to work out three times to get on my own. No. <laughs> <laughs> You better send me three pictures then. No, I don't. I, don't really have that <laughs> oh, I want to see it. All right. Does anybody have any questions about any uh, anything nutrition related or uh, UPF, QB mindset, any of that kind of stuff? But thanks a lot, Deanna. Yeah. No, we'll no thank you. And then we can, let me get my camera ready. Hey, thanks ladies. My first time here. I'm so glad I caught you. Yeah, I'm glad you came. This, this is kind of what we do. We have a topic in the beginning that we discuss, and then we go through food labels and questions. And as you can see, everybody likes to bring their food labels because it's really fun to talk about <laughs> different foods and how it works. You guys are great. I love it. I just am going to be hit or miss if I can ever make it. So, yeah. but I really appreciate all of you. Well, she and I recorded it too. So, um, yeah, you can always watch it later. Um, Wendy would get, because I think Wendy's your coach, right? 
um, actually Brooke is my coach. Laura, okay. Brooke, Brooke. Brooke. Yeah, I follow Wendy's groups all the time. Yeah, Brooke, yeah. we have access to our group where I post the recordings too. So mm -hmm. you could, yeah, I, I put them up like an, an hour after we're done. And so there, there's always a recording too, if you miss it. And I try to get the topics and what food labels we covered, if I remember, <laughs> so that people can jump into there if they want to. So, great. Right. Darcy, it's, it's also in the BOD group as well. The recording oh, it will is. be in there. Yeah, the okay. recording will be in there. Okay. In the um, Sue and I are running a clean week. If and, and anybody's welcome to join us, it's I feel like it's more introductory than this group is, but um, it does have a week's worth of meal plans, and we'll be doing the clean week workouts. Uh, but you can do any workout you want. It, prep week starts on Monday, and then the clean week is actually on the twelfth. But you guys are, of course, all welcome to join us if you would like. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, hi, yeah, Michelle. Oh, she's not connected yet. I she's, hope. Connect. she's connecting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but Robin's doing that group too, right? Are we'll you doing say. that, Robin? Yeah. Perfect. Michelle, are you connected? I, didn't, I don't want to just hang up on you because we're actually getting <laughs> off. <laughs> Okay, well, Michelle, send, on. send a message if you can hear us. Um, we're all going to jump off. Hi, <laughs> guys. All right, you guys. Did you, you take a picture? Ball? Yeah, did you get a picture? I did get a picture. I don't know if we look good or not. Do you want me to take one more? <laughs> I don't ever well, look and see of how Of course, we, we want to look good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's try it again. Okay, ready? <laughs> Okay. All right. Oh, we made it. We made it. Okay. Oh, yeah, Michelle, you made it. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I'll, I'll wait for Michelle to connect if you guys want to get off. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, later. Bye, guys. Bye.